What's going on guys, it's Jen from WearTisters.com here we got a first impression on the Adidas Rose 773 Three. So as always on wear testers, we start from the bottom and work our way up. This is what the traction looks like on the 7733. You have herringbone around the forefoot and on the outrigger over here. Um, and then the rest of the traction is carried by this uh, wavy design. And this wavy design is actually going to be featured on the Adidas Rose 5. So we're getting a little bit of a preview of what to expect on the Rose 5. So my first impressions on the traction is that it's really flat. As you can see, it, it doesn't peak very much. It's just a real flat surface. The rubber isn't very pliable. This could mean it's a real good outdoor option. The cushion setup on the 773 is just a standard EVA foam. I actually played in these for a little bit because I just couldn't wait. And my first impressions on it is very low to the ground, it's responsive, the slightest bounce to it, and it feels really good. It's a little bit more on the firmer side, so you're gonna get that responsive, low to the ground, court feel, cushion setup. So the Adidas Sprint Frame is featured on the Rose 773. They shaved it down, they keep shaving it down. It seems like every iteration when they do use Sprint Frame, Sprint Frame literally ends right here. So there's no more pinching in that midfoot area that Sprint Frame is notorious for. It's very comfortable, it really keeps your heel in there, it keeps your foot on the footbed and all that good jazz. And look at this, this is my favorite thing about the Rose line, these three stripes when, when you blow past people all they see is, your, is the Adidas branding, I think that's, that's a really cool feature. So the materials on the 7733, uh, you have synthetic uh, materials, you have this white overlay here and then this blue overlay. They're breathable, you can see there's uh, multiple perforations in the shoe. All the way from the heel all the way to the forefoot. It's slightly breathable, it's nothing too crazy, but it does give you that breathability to keep your foot ventilated. And you can see here, even there's perforations on the medial side. So that's a great thing. If you like ventilation, the Rose 7733 3 should keep you well ventilated, almost 360 degrees really, besides the back of the heel here and up here on the medial forefoot. But everywhere else, there's perforations, so that's a great thing. Um, the, the tongue also features a breathable mesh, and then the tongue up here with the Rose logo is it's actually like a dura buck or like new buck material so it's great that they added some premium qualities or raw materials on there here you can see the lace lock here it says 773 I believe that's the area code that uh, D Rose grew up in in the insole you can see that it says USA because it is a USA colorway I believe Rose will be wearing these during the FIBA World Championship or World Cup or whatever you want to call it it's the new basketball tournament that all the countries are partaking in looking at the 773 this is how they sit in shelves in the store, just like this. They're not that attractive, but let me tell you guys, and I'm being 100% honest with you, when you lace these up, these are clean. I mean, look at from the top down view. Um, you know, some people told me they think they look clean, but for me, it's just a eh design. But from the top down, it's gorgeous, and I was really excited to play in the Rose 7733 because I haven't played in a Rose signature model or anything from the Rose line since the 3.5. You know, when he got re-injured, I just got so depressed. That's my favorite player in the league. And I just couldn't put myself to wear the shoe. It just reminded me of him and how he could have been out there balling. So now that he's healthy and should be coming back next year stronger than ever, I was really excited to hoop in these. And I will be doing a performance review on that. So stay tuned to weartouches.com for the performance review on this, as well as any of your performance needs. That pretty much takes care of the first impression. Hope you guys like this video. See you in the next one. Peace.